part is very important. They are going to take you. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the YouTube channel, Pro Vids, and uh, this afternoon's video is my quick thoughts on the well now official news of Christian Tupelodu now joining the Dragons on a two-year deal from 2024 to 2025. So uh, this afternoon, Melee did secure a release for Tupelodu to join the Dragons effective immediately. And uh, yeah, obviously there was talk, uh, you know, last month about this whole move about Sweeper Lottie going to the Dragons or whatever. And at first, Melee hosed it down, saying that, oh, look, under any circumstance, I'm not going to release him. But I think um, over time, um, Dragons and Melee must have uh, renegotiated re um, this situation. And uh, yeah, they've come to a release for Sweeper Lottie. So he'll now join the Dragons on a two year deal effective immediately, while Melee have a few spots actually left in the top 30. I think about three or four. So. We can, we can really fill our spots up by the new season ahead. No rush, obviously, because we'll take our time and pick, picking and choosing what, what, what players go into the top 30. But I think with two Plotty now gone, it means that Nathan Brown will come into the top 30, who is currently on a train and trial contract, but he'll get a top 30 spot either way, I feel like. So that's what's going to happen. But before I get to my full thoughts, please be sure to like this video and do subscribe to the YouTube channel too. Now, the, the growth has been crazy. We're getting new subs... Um, Literally every day, uh, the support has been unreal, and um, yeah, I think it's really worth acknowledging the support and the new subscribers recently. So I do thank everyone um, a lot for helping me get to the goal of nearly 3,900 subscribers, only 10 subs away. So yeah, the, um, the contribution to that goal is getting closer and closer. So thank you all very much uh, for the continuous support. Um, but with Tui Pilotu, let's um, hope it's a good one at the Dragons. You have to keep moving to maintain your balance. But after a while... Nah, but I think Tweep Lottie will go well. I think um, Dragons need a few more um, backs in their team. I think, um, you know, CT, as, as that's his nickname, will definitely do the job of the Dragons. I think, you know, the, the, look, I'll be honest, the Dragons' back line's not that bad, I don't think, because it's literally a mix of players like Sloan, Lomax, um, Ravalawa, Suli on his day can be good. Uh, just needs to find more consistency, and the halves are going to be Flanagan and Hunt, which I'm still mm, not keen on. Um, but yeah, the other wing position, which is obviously Ravalawa on one side, but the other winger positions between a few players, I feel like like Matt Fiage, um or Figo, whatever how you say his last name. Um, yeah, obviously he was someone that was probably going to take a wing spot. Um, months ago, but now that Tweep Lottie's come to the club, I feel like Shane Flanagan may go in that direction of choosing him over um, uh, Figo. So, yeah, I think um, that's what's going to happen. And uh, I'm lucky for um, Figo because I feel like he's been at the Dragons for a while now, probably, probably waiting to lock in a, a spot full time. But um, with Tweep Lottie signing, I can't see him um, not going to the Dragons to play reserve grade because he's left mainly to get opportunities and more um, chances in first grade. So, obviously, the Dragons, he sees it. And Dragons think the same, so yeah, he'll definitely come to the Dragons team walking into the starting team, I guarantee that. Um, but look, obviously, Tui Pilotu's time at Manly was not that long, when you think about it, from 2021 to 2024 pre-season, it's not really that that long, but in his game time at Manly in first grade, it was pretty good. Like, I think 2022 was his best season, because... That season, he scored over 10 tries, I think, or close to 10 tries. And, um, no, he had a big try scoring year that, that season, 2022. Really, his debut season. Debut in 2020, but as a first grader, um, being a bit more prominent in, in first grade, I think, um, yeah, 2022 was, an, was the year he sort of made a name for himself, um, if that makes sense. And I think, yeah, um, that was his good season. And 2023 um, probably wasn't his best season because I think he had a few injuries and probably was a bit down in form sometimes, but uh, look, I can't fault his effort because he always seems to give it a go, seems to always work with Cola, which is his cousin, uh, Tolu Cola is his cousin, in case people didn't know that, but he also, um, yeah, like he always worked hard, I feel like, Tui Pilotu, um, you know, obviously he seemed popular around the squad from what I've seen, um, you know, good good energy, and it seems like a good um, person overall, and I've met him before, and um, no, look, I think he'll be... I guess it'll be a loss for the mateship of the team, but I think for the team going forward, you know, looking at the options we've got, like we've got plenty of young wingers centres coming up, um, deserving opportunity. So I think someone had to move on, unfortunately, and that was Tupelodu. So obviously, yeah, now with, um, with Tupelodu gone, 
We can look to guys like Clayton Fulalo, um, who is in the reserve grade team for Manly, but is on a... Um, <clears throat> I think he's on a development deal for Manly, but moves into the top 30 in 2025. I could even move into the top 30 now, uh, but we'll see what happens. And then you've got Lehi Hopawati, who's also a young kid to look out for. Um, very young still, but can definitely play. He's a bit like Will Hopawati, his older brother. Can play in the in the outside backs, in the centre wing, and I think fullback too. So, um, yeah, it's good to have that option there too. So, you know, I think... Unfortunately, someone was always going to leave, and I think Tui Pilotti would have to be the guy that had to go. So this is just how rugby league works, unfortunately. But um, yeah, for the Dragons' sake, he'll be good. I feel, I feel like under Flanagan, Flano has worked with him before. And I think Flano will get the best out of him. But um, yeah, I think we've made a smart choice and just uh, managing our roster a bit better. I feel like. But um, yeah, Tui Pilotti, good player on his day. Um, but I think Dragons will yeah work for Tui Floyd better than but better than what we would for him right now. But um see what happens because I do think there's a lot of potential in Tui Pilotti still. Um but what's your thoughts on the signing Christian Tui Pilotti for the Dragons? Please let me know in the comment section down below. And as always like, comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. And um yeah, my goal is to get to three thousand nine hundred subscribers but hopefully uh midway this month. So that's very possible. Could even get it next week hopefully but we'll see. But um yeah do continue uh, to show your support to this YouTube channel if you haven't already. But um, thank you for watching and have a good afternoon.